In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's be seated. Why seated? Just say unto God, O oh God, oh God, give unto me a hearing ear. Give me understanding of your word. Cause me to encounter your word this morning. Open my eyes to see what I have not seen in your word before. And grant me the grace to be a doer of your word. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes of understanding. Cause me to encounter your word. Lord, I want to encounter your word. Grant unto me the grace to see what I have not seen before from your word. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of God, we cannot do without you. I decree that today's service be moved by you, be established by you, that everyone, oh God, will have a definite personal encounter with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Take over this morning, Spirit of the living God, in Jesus' precious name. Very quickly, let's consider seven benefits of the anointing. Seven benefits of the anointing. Seven benefits of the anointing. Benefit has to do with profit. Benefit has to do with an advantage that you gain from something. So when we talk about benefits, we are talking about an advantage you get from the anointing. We are talking about the profit you get from the anointing. If you have an understanding of the benefits of the anointing, you will always long for the anointing. You will always place a value on the anointing. Why? Because you have an understanding. I pray that God will give you understanding in the precious name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit gave me this word from the book of Psalm 89, verse 20 to 24. Psalm 89, verse 20 to 24. We're talking about seven benefits of the anointing from this short passage. Fully loaded. Are we there? I have found David my servant, and with my holy oil have I anointed him. Mark the word anointed. Verse 21. With whom my hand shall be established. My arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exalt upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face. And plague them that hate him. Verse 24. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name shall his horn be exalted. May the Lord bless the word that we have just read in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number one. One of the outstanding benefits of the anointing is the fact that the anointed of the Lord is sustained by the Lord. Sustenance by the anointing. God's hand will sustain the anointed. God's hand will establish the anointed. God does not just pour, put a road, put oil on you. His spirit comes upon you. And the spirit that comes upon you is meant to sustain you, is meant to establish you. 
David was anointed in the midst of his brethren and the spirit of the Lord came upon him. The spirit of the Lord came upon him. If you are anointed of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord comes upon you. And what's the duty of the spirit of the Lord? The duty of the spirit of the Lord for coming over your life is to sustain you. Is to establish you. Hallelujah. When the holy oil comes upon you, you become the anointed of the Lord. This morning I will be anointing you. And you will have the benefit of sustenance. God will sustain your spiritual life. God will sustain your family life. God will sustain your business life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know something? The advantage of watching programs on television is the fact that you may not have the opportunity to be anointed raw. There are people watching all over the world now. This message. Are you aware of that? But as I anoint you, there's no way I can anoint them. Maybe one day, technology will come and as I am anointing, people here, they too that are watching, can also get anointed. So those of you watching on the internet, it's better for you to go to a nearby church. A living church. Don't stay at home and say, okay, after I'm watching, uh, oh, pastor, I'm always uh, with you, or I'm always with you. Uh, don't be with me like that. This anointing now cannot reach you, the one I'm going to do this morning. The anointed of the Lord is sustained by the Lord. I decree sustenance for you Amen. in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 90 and verse 17. Psalm 90 and verse 17. Psalm 90 and verse 17. Let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Hallelujah. And establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands. Establish thou. This is the work of the anointing. The anointing comes to beautify you. It says, and let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Once you are anointed of the Lord, the Lord beautifies you. He does not just beautify you. He, 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 he establishes you. He establishes the work of your hands. There are so many people that their works have not been established. But it pays that your work is established. You know, when your work is established, you become an institution. A couple of years ago, a particular woman was uh, stopping her daughter from going with us for our usual annual camp meeting called Camp Joseph that we started uh, um, two, two, the year 2000, and it's been running every year. We gather youths together. We count them 27 to 20 uh, 27 to 30th of December every year. We have not changed it from that time till today. From the year 2000 till today. We've been gathering teenagers, young people, and grooming them in the, way of, in the ways of the Lord. The young girl told her mother, oh, I'm going for camp. And the woman said, no, you're not going for any camp. Let's say, mommy, I want to go. I want to join others to go. And the mother said, okay, let me go with you to see that your pastor. And they came. I was not around. They came into the premises. He said, where's your pastor? He said, pastor has not come yet. He said, are you sure this is YDI? He said, yeah, this is YDI. The woman said, okay, I don't need to see your pastor again. You can go with them. Everybody say establishment. Yes, Everybody say institution. institution. The ministry is not a portfolio ministry. It's established. God has established us by his anointing. We have an address. There are people who don't have address. When you are anointed of the Lord, you have an address. 
The Lord God Almighty will give you an address. Amen. You will not be nomadic. Oh, did you hear that English? I say you will not be what? Nomadic, nomadic, nomadic. From one place to another. Praise the Lord. I say, may the Lord establish you in the name of Jesus. Number two benefit of the anointing is the fact that the hand of the Lord will always strengthen you. The hand of the Lord. The arm of the Lord will strengthen you. He said, my arm also shall strengthen him. David was anointed of the Lord and the arm of the Lord strengthened David. With all the persecutions, with all the trials, even the people that he was trying to salvage, he was trying to help, were trying to stone him at one time. And the Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. When the Lord becomes your encourager, you will always be encouraged. May the Lord encourage you this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 51 and verse 9. Isaiah 51 and verse 9. The Bible says, Awake! Awake! Isaiah 59. I mean 51 verse 9. 51 verse 9. Isaiah 51 and verse 9. Awake! Awake! Put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Are thou not it that had caught Rahab and wounded the dragon? Today, the arm of the Lord will wound the dragon on your behalf. You know who a dragon is? I said the arm of the Lord will be so mighty in your direction that all your, your enemies, they shall be wounded. Amen. Fatally wounded. Awake! Awake! Put on strength, O oh, arm of the Lord! Arm of the Lord! Arm of the Lord. Joshua chapter 4 and verse 24. Joshua chapter 4 and verse 24. That all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord. That it is mighty. That it might be. That, that ye might fear the Lord your God forever. The anointed of the Lord. It's privileged to have the hand of the Lord strengthen him. God will be doing some awesome things in your life and your neighbors. People on, of the earth, they, might, they, they will know that the hand of the Lord is mighty upon you. That they, they will know that the hand of the Lord is mighty upon you. That's the anointed of the Lord. There is no prophet in Israel that operates in the office of a prophet without the anointing. There is no king in Israel that assumes the office of kingship that does not experience or receive the anointing. Saul was anointed of the Lord. David was anointed of the Lord. They are all kings. Elisha, anointed of the Lord. Elijah, anointed of the Lord. Every prophet. Nobody becomes a prophet without the anointing. But see what the hand of the Lord did in the life of the man called Elijah. 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 46. 1 Kings, 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 46. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And the hand of of the Lord was what? On Elijah. And he gathered up his loins and ran before Ahab 
to the entrance of Jezreel. When you, when you are anointed of the Lord, the hand of the Lord comes upon you and you gain speed. The speed will be unusual. Ahab was riding a chariot. In our own world, it will be one of the Lamborghinis. One of the fastest cars, so to say. But the man called Prophet Elijah outrun a Lamborghini of those days. God gave unto him what? Speed. That is the power of the anointing. As the anointing of God comes upon you today, I prophesy speed that you have never seen before. Amen. Your business will gain speed. Amen. Your ministry will gain speed. Amen. Your family will gain speed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. things will be working for you. Stress free. Every arrow of snail shot in your direction, I come against in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know a snail? All the diabolical people, they use snail for rituals. If they want to retard your, your progress, they carry the, what do you call it? The snail to go and do sacrifice. Put the name of the person, do some certain things, and they begin to invoke the spirit of slowness upon the individual. That's to say you are not making progress. You won't make progress. Your, 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 your movement will be sluggish. You will not go forward. No. When the anointing of God comes upon you, every diabolical me, uh, machinations will be frustrated and destroyed, shattered and battered forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to say that the hand of the Lord also signifies the influence of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 1. The king's, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Everybody put your hand like this. The hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. You see, the heart of man it's in the hand of the Lord. That is, is under the influence or the control of God. Except the hand of the Lord controls the heart of an individual towards you, it can never reach you. The Bible says a man can receive nothing except to be given to him from above. And I've always advised people. Instead of praying and instead of asking individuals to do things for you. Go and tell God. And God will tell those people. And those people will come to do it. And the honest truth is that if God has not sanctioned it, God has not approved it, the hand of the Lord is not turning the heart of people towards you, no matter how you beg, they will never remember. I don't know about you, but I know about myself. That so many times God has moved people to favor me. He said, I was just thinking about you. And something moved me. <laughs> when they say something, I say, my Holy Ghost in my heart. I say, Holy Ghost is not something. The Holy Ghost is the one moving you. Today, may the Spirit of the Lord move people in your favor. Amen. The influence of the Lord the control of God is in his hands. God has the ability to control the whole world wide, the whole world, via his hands. I decree that that man, that woman, 
that has something to do to promote you, the hand of the Lord will control that person. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the hand of the Lord, 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 the hand of the Lord. He will control it, will control it. Ever say remote control. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. So if God does not will, will it ever happen? May the Lord God Almighty determine your progress. Today in the precious name of Jesus. Number three. We're talking about seven benefits of the anointing, right? Number one is what? Sustenance by the anointing. Number two, the hand of the Lord will strengthen the one that is anointed. And number three is what? The enemy will not exert upon him. That means the enemy will not get a better part of him. That means the enemy will not subjugate him. Hallelujah. That means God will not allow his enemies to oppress him. The enemy will not exert upon him or get better part of him. Will not get you at all in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 30 and verse 20. Their children, no, no, um, their children, talking about affliction now, their, their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. <laughs> Is that not awesome? Every wicked person. That tries to oppress you will be oppressed by the Lord. Amen. I will punish all that oppress them. When the Lord punishes an individual, that person is in trouble. The Bible says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Hallelujah. Number four. The anointed, the anointed of the Lord will experience the appointment of the Lord. The anointed of the Lord will experience the what? The appointment of the Lord. God will appoint him into places of authority. God will appoint him to places. God will designate places for him. Why? Because he's anointed of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Samuel chapter 7 and verse 10. Second Samuel chapter 7 and verse 10. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel. I will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more as before time. That is the role of the anointing. The anointing of the Lord gives you appointment. I will appoint a place for my people. May the Lord God Almighty appoint a place for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you are anointed of the Lord and you are appointed of the Lord, anybody who takes your place is in trouble. God will eject that person forcefully. You know something about God? God specializes in driving people from their places and appointing you. That's what, what, that was what he did for Israel. 
You know, when, uh, you know, in the United Nations, some of you, I don't know whether you are aware of the fact that majority of nations, they don't want Israel as a nation. Jerusalem has been under contention since time immemorial. For your information, the Jebusites were there before David took over. Originally, Jerusalem or the land was not for Israel. So, in the United Nations, when the Israeli Prime Minister comes to say, okay, you know, we have been here for over 3,000 years. It's our land. People will say, uh-uh, there were other people before you guys came. But if God moved people out from the place and you now occupy, he gives you an establishment. God has given Israel establishment. He has appointed them into, to, into that place. He said they will never be moved. Check, check the scripture. Let's read that scripture again. To show you that God is ever faithful to his word. Are we there now? 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 10. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people. I will plant them. When God plants you in a place, nobody can remove you. Kalido Robadu Shagayagaya. God cannot give you an appointment, a promotion, and there will be a gang up to remove you. Except God was not the one that gave it to you in the first instance. I will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own. From this scripture, you can get a land of your own. Are you hearing what I'm saying? From this scripture, you can get a place of your own. You can get your own land, your own property. Is it that they may dwell in a place of their own? One of the outstanding blessings of God in Lagos is a home of your own. Whether as a family, as a ministry, as a business, a place that you can call your own. He said, I move no more. I move no more. Hallelujah. <laughs> you wonder how I drive from, from my place in Okota, Isola, to this place all the time. Because it's our own place. It's my own. If it's not my place, maybe around this place I would have gotten accommodation. But since it's my own, I have to go to my house, drive all the way. A place of my own. Is there a move no more? Beloved, you have moved for too long. If they right, if they just jack up the price of the rent, they then say, hey. Wait, you, this landlord, this landlord, Shylock landlords in Lagos. Oh, oh these landladies, they are terrible people in this Lagos. They have moved, they have rejected up the thing. Must you be, must, must you, must you be a tenant forever? No. Eh? No! No! Cry unto God. That he must give you a place of your own. That you are an anointed of the Lord. Amen. The truth of the matter is that no matter how you decorate that house, it's not your own. It's not your own. It's not your own house. But if it's your house, beloved, it's better to be drinking gari in your house than to use egg to pound pounded yam. In another person's house. I hope you understand that, my something. <laughs> you know, eggs is very expensive. Now you gather eggs together, you pound it, and you are eating it as pounded yam. <laughs> but you are in another person's house. That's a shame. That's a shame. My father in the Lord, several years ago, I was driving a particular car. That soon, I know some of you have heard the story. <laughs> I was just driving the, and I came, came to church one day. 
You know, Bishop Iriko is a very, you know, he's, an, he's, he's a general. So he said I should take him to the house from the church. I should drive him to the house. So I was driving. And I had to come out to open the door for him. And the, the, the door hooked. So, and I'm, I'm the only one that can open it. <laughs> oh, change, level change, Ojani. Level change, level change. As I was, I was uh, opening the thing, you say, oh, no. So I say, enter, sir. So he enter. He said, Apostle Joe, say, sir, change this car. Change this car now. Change it. Change it. Change it. I say, yes, sir. He enter, I drove him home. Not too long after that, I called him to dedicate our house, a duplex, chapel at the back, beautiful home. He went around the place. He shook his head. That was 1994. Shook his head. After he left my place, there was another pastor also who had been living in a rented place with all manner of cars. Ambrobas visited him several times. Landlords having issues. So when Bishop left my place, he called that man. He said, go and get your house. Go and get your own house. So it was Bishop that connected him to one other person that wanted to sell the house. He said, buy the house. Because the man is wealthy, but he never had the understanding that he must leave a place of his own. There are some people now, the house is inside their belly. They have eaten everything. They have eaten. Every now and then, they are just busy eating and eating. If, they, if God should open your eyes to see the number of houses in that your tummy, you'll be so surprised. Cars, beautiful cars, this one, that one. It was when Bishop came to my house. He knew that the reason why I was driving that car was because of investment. Beloved, no matter how expensive that your car is, it does not have any economic value. Buy that car today, brand new, and you are reselling it. You can never sell that car at the same price you bought it. It is already a tokumbo. But I can tell you, you can never buy a house or a land and sell it lower. It's never possible. Everyone say wisdom. wisdom. Properties appreciate. Properties, they do what? Appreciate. Appreciate. Properties appreciate. If you go to Ogun State today, there are some places they are selling land for 50,000 here, even 100,000 here. But I can tell you, there are people who are not wise to go and invest there. The land where we got our property in my place in 1991, say 1991, my wife. We bought that property 130,000 naira. Are you hearing me? Omonile and every charges, everything 150,000. With that money, I could have bought about four plots in a Ejigbo or other outskirts. But that time, I, I said, let me live in town. That was why we bought that. That land alone, I can never give it to you for 100 million. That place where we have place, I will never sell it. Not to talk of the house. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Ever say investment. investment. So when you're praying to God, say, God, give me a place of my own. In the light of this scripture, that I may dwell in a place of my own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict me. 
anymore. You have been afflicted by landlords. Every now and then, they jack up price. Every now and then, they jack up price. Beloved, it's better for you to have your house in Abiokuta and be coming to Lagos. It's your house. It's not because our leaders are not uh, fortright, they are not visionaries. If not, you can live in Abiokuta and work in Lagos. Good roads. Train, put train from Abiokuta to this place. All these advanced countries, that's what they do. Move people several hours to their workplace. From Abiokuta to Lagos, under 40 minutes, at most one, one hour, you're already in Lagos. You're working. I'm giving you business sense now. That 50,000 naira that you say is just 50,000 naira. It can buy you a land. That 100,000 can buy you a land. I was reading about one of these uh, singers. His name is called Davido. <laughs> Money Miss Road. He bought, he bought 45 million era worth of a car to a girlfriend. And 40, 45, 45 million for a girlfriend. Not his wife, a girlfriend. The world is not criticizing him. More. Are you hearing me? The world is not criticizing him. But should you give me now, Pastor Joe, 40 million naira for being a blessing to you? He say, ah, Pastor is a fake. <laughs> he has deceived you. Why will a pastor collect this amount from you? That's the word for you. That's the word for you. What I'm saying is that the money that you are distributing, I say, it's a couple, 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 couple. Put them together, it's more too. I'm telling you. This 5,000 era today, 2,000 era today, tomorrow, blah, 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 you are splashing. They will command so much result. When you gather them together. You gather a lot of money. You see, when the hand of the Lord is upon you, things will work for you. When the hand of the Lord is upon you, things will work for you. In this commission, God has helped us to build all these facilities that you are enjoying today. It's not that we had all the money put together. As he's supplying, we are doing according to his supplies. The hand of the Lord. God Almighty will appoint a place for you Amen. and your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. When when a rented apartment, as a Benue man, I love eating pounded yam. Not this, it was not. <laughs> no, it was there was no yam panda or pando yam, the one that you turn now. My wife, God bless my wife for me. She will pound yam. For me, we are on the ground floor. And the landlord was on top. When you are living with landlord in Lagos, you are in trouble. In the same place. The landlord came to harass my wife. Just put his hand in his pocket. Landlord. Mrs. Obe, is this your house? The way you are pounding that yam. You want to spoil my house? You want to spoil my house? Mrs. Ogbe, I don't like it. This is my house. As if somebody was contending with him. Beloved, we suffered in his hands. And he was an old man. In the night like this, me, I, I know, as some, somebody coming to Lagos fresh, I didn't know about the custom. You know, when they would be doing, ooh, 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 ooh. me, I was trying to, Carry uh, something from the window, you know, to see what is there. 
my wife will say, put your head down. Put your head down. <laughs> put your head down. I say, what is this? What is happening? He said, that is called Oro. I said, what is Oro? He said, ah, see all these demonic people. They, they don't see them more. I say, hey, hey, what why are they doing like that? <laughs> oh, goodness me. It was fast. You know, I didn't know. And uh, she was born and bred in Lagos. You, you, know, you knew about all that. It's good to, to have a wife that knows the way. You know, just press my head down. Say, don't look. <laughs> oh, goodness me. You know, that same landlord harassed us, harassed us. At the end of the day, God gave us a place. He was his wife or wives, not even one. They used to pound on the top. Okay, the top and the ground, which one is more dangerous to the is it on the top? But how come they pound on top? But we on the ground, we are not allowed. Because it's not our own. Beloved, you know, something that is not your own is not your own. Don't, 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 don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. All this borrowing car and just driving around is not your car. Go and drop it. Drop it by your own. You know, by your own. Don't get so proud about somebody, uh, somebody else's uh, uh, property. God will settle you. I'm, 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 God is even saying I should stop here so that the next one I'll continue just for the second service. Uh, are, are you getting what I'm saying? If the message is blessing you so much, wait for the concluding part. Hallelujah. I'm challenging you today that this anointing that is coming upon you must give you a place of your own. Yeah. I know you, you are telling yourself now, where, how will the money come from? If God is not involved, you can't get it. You know when God is involved, your 100,000 will yield what 1 million will yield. I, I'm telling you. Somebody will be so challenged and will need money desperately. And say, okay, who can give me 100000 just for this property? God will organize it for you. Amen. God will organize it. And God will so much, pro- it's just for your faith to come alive. Students have bought land. Oh. My, my, my children in YDI, Students. They have bought land. They have bought land. Students. They have bought land. There's one of my sons in the Lord. He's doing his PhD. He's not married here, though, in South Africa. He has estates in Ogun State. Estates. Estates. As a lawyer, he bought several land, several acres, and he's selling small, small to people. He's making money. His name is Okpemi. He's, 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 he's. Okpemi, I know you are hearing me now. I'm, I'm promoting your business. <laughs> Praise the Lord. No, truly, if you want, I contact you. I mean, connect you with Okpemi. He will give you. The truth is that in Lagos, you have to be very careful because they are Shylocks, they are scammers. Some people will send land to about three, four people. It's when you want to go and start building. Then you see this person come and say, it's my land, though. This other one will come and say, it's my land, though. You know? But you know something? If God is giving you a land of your own, no man can pull you out. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you ready for the anointing? Yes. Are you ready for the anointing? Yes. God bless you real good in Jesus' name. Rada yaga